As we begin the new year, I want to take a moment to highlight some of the amazing work we have accomplished in Marshall County in 2023. The members of the Fiscal Court have worked together to make great strides in truly improving Marshall County for our residents, and we are tremendously proud of what we have accomplished so far. Day one, my open door policy was implemented. In the first 90 days, we cut approximately $200,000 in spending. $8,000 in savings came from terminating a contract with a company out of Louisville for annual maintenance on the judicial building and going with a local company. I eliminated a budget line for $10,000 from the judge executive's budget for legal fees. We finished our county budget two months ahead of schedule. We lowered the rate for general ad valorem tax on real estate and tangible property by 6.7%. Expansions. Precision Sonar announced a $2.2 million expansion, new facility, and 12 jobs to be added. We also received a grant from the DRA for economic development in the amount of $527,158. Current infrastructure improvement projects. Total cost of project, $3,650,000 for the Oak Level Water Project. Approximately 55,000 feet, or 10 and a half miles of new lines approximately 150 properties, 90 households that we'll be able to tie on, funded by the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, ARPA grant that was awarded to Marshall County Fiscal Court. We currently have permitted approximately 62,200 feet, almost 12 miles of water line extensions with potential to add additional households with additional expansion work. The approved projects are located in all three districts of the county. Fiber, the first grant approved is $2.5 million. It will serve 250 locations with 47 miles of fiber countywide and is currently in environmental review. The second grant that's applied for, $1.2 million, would serve 105 locations with 15 miles of fiber in an area southwest of Benton. Total of 355 sites and 62 miles of fiber. Once all permits and reviews are approved and complete, the project should take less than two years to complete. Law enforcement. We have worked for the first 12 months on the first responder communications upgrade, and phase one should be totally completed in 2024 with a cost of $840,000. A major remodel was completed at the sheriff's office. All new firearms have been ordered for our deputies. The sheriff's office obtained a grant for body armor having replaced all the expired body armor. New laptops were purchased for the detective division along with multiple covert recording devices. An additional school resource officer was added at the high school, bringing the total up to 12. A new program, Prepared Live, is now used by 911, allowing callers to text pictures and videos to dispatchers to be relayed to the first responders. We have replaced the aging, leaking roof at the Judicial Building, a project totaling roughly $200,000. We signed a contract with the Attorney General's Office to bring a field office to Marshall County in the Judicial Building. Roads. The 15-foot Rocky Point boat ramp was replaced by our road department with a new 30-foot wide ramp. The parking area will be paved in the spring of 2024. Cambridge Shores will be repaved in 2024 from the tornado-related damage on the roads. Parks Department. Phase one of the LED lighting upgrades were completed with new lighting installed on one of the soccer and one of the baseball fields. The first season of Miracle League play was completed in the fall with 44 athletes representing eight western Kentucky counties. Over $27,000 was raised for nonprofits at the Christmas in the Park light show. New animal control policies and procedures were implemented. We have budgeted for and are working on replacing the aging, leaking roof at the courthouse. After an extended period of closure, the Senior Citizen Center will launch their kickoff in January in the Joe Creason Community Building from 10 to 1 with bingo and lunch. We're working on applying for a large grant to help secure the future of the center and renovations to the existing building. I have a great working relationship with all of our mayors, state, and federal elected officials. These relationships are imperative to the success of Marshall County as a whole as we work collectively to bring improvements and upgrade to our area. Everything that we have accomplished this year, we have done without taking on any new debt. We've managed to pay off some prior debt in the process. 
None of what I have shared with you would have been possible without our commissioner's support. We have common goals and we work hard to achieve them for our county. We are in sound financial shape as we close out 2023 and we are aggressively working on broadband, water and sewer projects in 24, along with many other improvements across our departments. We as a fiscal court are committed to making 2024 an equally successful year for Marshall County and we look forward to serving you. It's an honor and privilege to be able to serve Marshall County in the capacity of Judge Executive. Thank you and God bless.